you would hope to find them, not as you would expect to find them. The epidemic has ravaged the hospital. If ever you have found yourself at a loss as to the correct usage of the English language, you may enjoy my popular guide to good grammar. A public service I perform with no shortage of humility. I would do one to proper enunciation as well, but I fear your underdeveloped vocal abilities would make this quite impossible.
Tschüss. Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Welcome back to your favorite radio station with the vastly overqualified Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I'm here to inform, to entertain, and to bring some small measure of sophistication to your drab little lives. Should any of you have any requests for popular tunes, as I believe people like to call them, do not hesitate to repress that impulse. I have no intention of playing any of that drivel. is apparently going to open another of its nature communes for sick people with more sense than money. Fortunately, I have equal amounts of sense and money.
now bring you this segment, Sir Nigel Reviews. Today I take a look at the new fine dining establishment, Les Souffle Triste. And what a delight for the experienced palate this is. The scrambled emu eggs on pickled toast are particularly good. I give it four salt shakers. Two Point Radio. Our reporter on the field, Sally Fig Blanket, has just returned with her camera crew from another field trip. As to what she was reporting on, I cannot say. Nobody tells me anything.
brought to you by Politas two-in-one shoe polish and frying oil. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio. Our esteemed government minister for health, Tarquin Foxbridge, has been doing the rounds at a few hospitals today. One can only hope his red tape can hold together these so-called public services.
If ever you have found yourself at a loss as to the correct usage of the English language, you may enjoy my popular guide to good grammar, a public service I perform with no shortage of humility. I would do one to proper enunciation as well, but I fear your underdeveloped vocal abilities would make this quite impossible. I have received a note saying that the famed actor Roderick Cushion was visiting a local hospital earlier today. Something that might cause me a modicum of excitement if only I knew who he was. And just what the devil is a perilous spandex anyway. Moving on.
Children's announcement. Plants need water. I have only one word to say to you today. Trousers, people. Trousers. They ought to be worn at all times. They protect against sunburn and knobbly knee syndrome. Take heed, dear listeners. Attention. Urinating anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. to Harrison Wolf, the lone voice of reason, ready to spread some truth to all our vigilant listeners. So open your eyes and your ears and get ready to find out what's really going on. But first, here are some people playing musical instruments.
I've started exploring past lives. I've tried hypnotizing myself with pendulums and pocket watches, but I find listening to my own voice works best. I say one thing, and then another thing. And I say one thing, and then another thing. It's possible you're now hypnotized too. to do Dave I'm so sad all the time and my cooking is terrible sound familiar what can he do Dave why don't you try the orb foundation the orb foundation the orb foundation I used to have problems but now I just have fun instead <laughs> the orb is the perfect shape and the perfect solution sponsored placement from the orb foundation 24 hours a day this is Two, Two, Two Point Radio.
dropped on our floor. branch of the holistics company known to some as hemp is in trouble again apparently elixir their latest product which claims to cure all ills is in fact nothing but pine scented prune juice well i guess it should cure one ill at least
disrespect the hospital grounds. No unauthorized digging. to the Cirque de Parfait recently. I was impressed by how experimental the acts were till I realized it was facing the wrong way and just looking at the tent wall. Thank you. 